Everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Billions, The Good Life. Michelle, Alonzo, no Ben this week. Of course, the episode with a million references to Citizen Kane and no Ben this week. And no Ben. But what are you going to do? <laughs> also, a big, big Kelly O'Coin gets arrested moment and no Ben. But we're going to carry on anyway. Uh, <laughs> So, first of all, Citizen Kane, I don't think he gets past the first three minutes. No, he doesn't, because that's what was replayed, wasn't he? Yeah, like you keep, it's, I know that score, and it's, it's, it's like, wait, you haven't even gotten to the word rosebud yet. It's just, <laughs> the, you're still going over all the walls and the fences and crap, and like, you, that you gotta turn your phone off when you watch a movie, you know? Especially if you're Axe, apparently, because it never stops ringing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or maybe he just doesn't like the message. Maybe that's uh, who knows. Maybe it, he hasn't like, gotten to the message yet. Yeah, totally. <laughs> who can say? Um, <laughs> now this this is one of those things where I can't figure out if yeah, like he's he, this is this is such a complex long con here that I don't even know if he knows he's doing a long con. Like, was he? Is it just a happy coincidence that he's dumping all of his telecom stock and announcing his retirement that he then isn't going to do, or is it? Is it a fluke or a what? I mean, yeah, what, they, what was your read on this? My read was that they implied that he was going to leave. Like, mm. he he made it sound like it wasn't a joke. Um, so a part of me wants to believe that. But he also did seem to know the information. Yeah. He seemed to know, and I don't. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe it was so he could pretend that he... You know, deni plausibility, deniability, plausible yeah, deniability. Plausible deniability. There's right, the right. word I'm looking for. But, maybe. Yeah, I mean, did it become that thing where like you start believing your own line of BS or something? Yeah. I, because, you know, because you're dragging the wife and the kids into this. You're you're taking it hard. Like it's one thing to make all of your coworkers think that you're flaking out, and so that you don't want to raise suspicion or have red flags or have other people kind of you know figure out what it is you're doing. But when you've got the family involved and you're actually saying, yeah, we're going to go to the Galapagos. And, you know, oh, and I looked up Lonesome George. He's a turtle, by the way. A turtle. Okay. Died, I was wondering about he, that. He died in 2012. I assumed pirate. I don't know why. That was <laughs> I, like, I that didn't was know. Just... I was a lizard. You know, it's <laughs> the, the remains of Charles Darwin. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, the turtle who died in 2012 really was the last of his species. That's right. Oh, the last Galapagos turtle. Turtle. Okay. Yes. That, yes. There it is. Um, so anyway, so that just seemed like, okay, then this is either you're really committed to, to like keeping this under wraps or you were really going to do it and then you change your mind. I assume he was going to do it, right? Like I yeah. assume he knew what was coming and he th almost for a minute thought better and was like, let me get out of this now. So I still keep my life sure it was my guess and then he just changed it. and the thing is i i wouldn't put it past this show to have him go do that and then have give us like an eight months later yeah you know mm -hmm. they, they would th this is a smart enough thing where they would do that they would let him run off and then still have consequences for when he came back or it would be suddenly be a show about him being a fugitive i don't know <laughs> but i was I, I did not see where this was going to go and 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 i remember there's that there's that there's a the thing that that the doctor the psychiatrist says in the first in the pilot or in the second episode about the the big nightmare being the guys in the blue FBI windbreakers showing up. Yeah. And so that scene was just like, oh, who, whoa, <laughs> this is we're happening now. And I thought, you know, this seems early in the season, but it was just they were just there for dollar bill. Yeah. Well, and they and they did a great job of planting that it was too soon. I thought that was a great storyline mm. where his where the story about his wife and maybe his conflict of interest is going to drop. So he jumps sure. on it. It seemed ahead of time. Yeah. And it, it even seemed like even though Axe knew it was coming, it seemed like it caught him. It seemed like it caught everyone. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, you know, while while the guy keeps saying, you know, you might consider recusing yourself and and, and Giamatti is clearly not having it. He's not wrong. Like, no. you know, I, I think I think that Giamatti's character is so obsessed with this case in particular that he won't step back from it, even though almost anybody looking at it from a sort of rational distance would be like, you, your wife works for this guy. You should really maybe not. Do, you know, but and 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 it's certainly at some point that what is it? FJ is that what they call it? The Wall Street Journal thing here, the Financial Journal. Yeah. That guy's going to be all over that too. You know. Yeah. And so I don't. I'm not sure what the long game there is. Like how he thinks he's going to be able to have his investigation and eat it too. You know. Yeah, and I wonder if that's what clouded his judgment in jumping in early. It kind of seemed like it did, and I hope that they have 
enough evidence to go on, but now that everyone knows what's happening, he doesn't have axe pinned yet. So it seems kind of early. Well, I think that the, the they they I think this is these are the the steps of building a case, mm -hmm. and so if you nail Dollar Bill on the Iowa thing, you know, worst case scenario is you nail Dollar Bill on the Iowa thing. Best totally. case scenario is you get him to flip, and you know, and it, it just they just work their way up the pyramid. You know, they find the weak link in each step of the of the process until they get to Wags and then eventually Axe. And d you might know the process better than I do, but would Probably they normally not. do? Would they <laughs> normally do that openly, or more like they did with the other guy, where they brought him in and it was kind of under? You know, they didn't let people know. Um, I imagine that they there's a little bit of let's put the fear of God into everybody and not let them know who we're coming for. Totally. Well, then we'll take the one guy, and then they'll know. Oh God, you know, attention is being paid, and this guy is now in custody. And so we have to hope that he's not going to turn and that he's going to be loyal even though he's facing jail time or whatever if he doesn't turn acts in, you know. Yeah, and then at that point, though, like, they walk out that day. I mean, I've got to assume, unless there's something in place that keeps you from doing that, that that's, like, when the paper shredder comes out. You, you know what I mean? Like, I just <laughs> right, assume right. they're like, oh. Well, I mean, that's why you'll notice there. they all piled out of a van that said, like, you know, cleaning services or whatever. Like, they are not giving you any warning. They're going to show up, get away from the computer, bam, now we go. So they could take all the records that day. They yeah. were also doing if, records. If, if they, if they wanted to, if they, if they had a warrant to take everything... They could take all the hard drives, they Got could take it. all the everything way faster than anybody could start shredding. Yeah, I thought... Assuming that anything's even on paper, you know, in, in this day and age, you know. Yeah, and especially with them, when yeah. they're... It seems like they're doing everything so undercover, and it's sure. like, it took them that long to trace one guy to Iowa. Right. That They're definitely covering their tracks. And that scene with the farmers in Iowa is like... That was great, kind of like, oh, did I not mention that you're getting arrested anyway? You know, yeah, that, is, was, that seems like that might come back to bite them later. To me, is there is there a chance that they can that that family can say like we were lied? I mean, they weren't technically. I doubt it. Just, Probably I mean, not. I think this kind of thing happens all the time, and I think that you're they're they're not in a power position because he did do the thing you know totally. and so i think even if they say oh he told us we wouldn't be that's like that's not a lot to stand on when you yeah. are actually <laughs> guilty of the thing so it's just you know he's a very good manipulator and you know and i love god the 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 relationship with the wife just gets deeper and more interesting <laughs> every week like i think i when i saw him outside of the club i thought oh. i bet you that that either they have an arrangement where if he's out of town, he gets to do this sort of thing, or he's if he doesn't tell her immediately, he's going to tell her like as soon as he gets home. Like it, to me, it, it didn't strike me as like, oh, he's he's stepping, you know. Totally. Yeah, there was a second where I was wondering if that was where they were going to take it to these relationships. And when the other guy was watching Citizen Kane, I was kind of surprised. I was like, oh, he listened to that girl, huh? <laughs> That's interesting because that was kind of planned in the week four, but they keep with these characters sure. and they keep. Yeah, I thought that was an an awesome scene with his wife and. I would love to know more about the friendship between the two wives because that's I think clearly going to be a fraught area as this as the as the men's pissing contest gets you know more fervent as the as the season continues to see how it affects where they are because they're obviously. I mean, you know, Malin Ackerman completely committed clearly to to her marriage, but mm -hmm. you know, I think the 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 analyst is kind of she is split, you know, like I mean, mm -hmm. she she she's behind her husband and supportive of her husband, but at the same time, she believes in acts and the company, and so she's this is going to just put her in an increasingly difficult situation. Kudos to Malin Ackerman, by the way, for showing her breasts because. So many actresses don't do that. I mean, they, they it's in their contract that they're not going to do it. And that's fine, and I respect that. But, God, do I hate sex scenes with bras. Yeah, that and makes I don't a even, lot of sense. I don't yeah, even sleep silly. with women, and I know that's crap. <laughs> that's so true. I mean, do, do you? I, that, no, that I didn't thing, even notice that. Personal. Do, you have, do, you, do you leave that on? Yeah, I mean, no, that's not a thing. Yeah, I mean, people I don't, don't do that. I don't that. think so. Yeah. You know, what, what movie did I just see that had what, what Roger Ebert called the L-shaped sheet? You know, where the man's is here and the woman's is here. Oh, How to Be yeah. Single has that moment. I'm like, really? Still with this? So 
Yeah, and she did. I thought that scene between the two wives was my favorite scene in yeah. the episode because you're really seeing that loyalty thing, mm -hmm. like stretched. And I, I don't know. Yeah, this can't like, go. Like she, you know, I mean, she and her, they don't have a perfect marriage, but she and her husband I think are very supportive of each other and 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 understand where they're coming from. But at the same time, she's obviously been friends with Axe and working with Axe for a long time. Yeah, is you know, a key player in their company. I mean, just in the way that she interacts with WAGs and the way that they're sort of looking over the employees while they're all like bored and antsy and having Twinkie eating contests or whatever the hell that was. I guess yum time. Oh God, uh, cakes. oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, so yeah, that's, I think she's gonna wind up being really the pivotal character here. I think she, her journey and how she deals with stuff and her feelings about how things play out is going to be probably the most interesting thing that happens this, on this show, or one of them anyway. In, in the way that Mad Men, I think, is as much about you know Peggy as it is about Don. I think that she's, uh, you know, I, I, she's just in this weird pivotal point between these two guys and their battles. You know, I mean, Giamatti's got his father issues and whatever else, but I mean, it's, she's really torn here mm -hmm. so you know i want to see where that goes and the women are power players in this oh yeah stuff, which is like kind of keep yeah that definitely is a storyline that i'm interested to see unfold I, just when they started photographing her mm -hmm. when she showed up at the house that was i was so unsettled as a viewer <laughs> as like as to like obviously she would be there but i it felt like he didn't expect her yeah and i exactly like is she is this, is this behind his back does she yeah. think that he's, she's going behind his back and is the and... wife there which made me kind of, you know, that was a loyalty question a little bit, I thought. Uh, yeah, well, and, and then the idea that, of course, they're talking in the screening room, which is going to be the one room in the house that has no windows. Yep. So, and you know you're rich, by the way, when your screening room has a 35 millimeter projector in it. Yeah. None of this video crap, or I mean, I'm sure they have that too, but, you know, yeah. you, you're kicking it old school. Oh, yeah, I would hang out <laughs> at that house. Oh, God, in a heartbeat, <laughs> no question. Although, if I could see the damn movie and get past the first three minutes. Um, <laughs> so true. And, and, and I'm, I'm forgetting her name, but the, uh, the, 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 uh, the Aquarius. Um, oh, yeah, oh, my gosh, yeah. She's turning into somebody really interesting. Now we know she's a Trustafarian, and, and she's clearly got the hots for a dude who's currently having this not very well hidden affair with the FBI agent. It's like, yep. there's oh, stuff happening here. Wants to be the president. I thought yeah. that was an awesome and why? Line. And why not? I mean, she yeah. probably, you know, she she comes for money. She's, I'm sure, was was law review at wherever she went. And, you know, she's working her way through, you know, like she's ferreting out Wall Street corruption and stuff. And, um, yeah, I, good on her. You know, that, that's the sequel show, I think. You know? yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, no, and I mean, what a cool storyline to follow because that now you know she has some loyalty to that place. I, when they started planning that she might just leave, yeah. I was like, oh, I don't know if I would find that to be... The most engaging story, but sure. this will be. Yeah, and, and the idea of why, you know, that, that uh, you know, when, when she said, when he said, oh, well, you know, it's not about you, but it's just five years you're going to play out. That's how this thing goes. Mm -hmm. And I and I thought she was going to give some sort of boring thing about how she really believes in the mission. Like, no, this is, this is all part of a very well structured life plan of, of where she wants to go and she wants to take it all the way so yeah yeah let's let's see more where that how that plays out so yeah i'm i'm definitely more into this show i, I am much more forgiving of the not knowing what the <laughs> hell they're talking about when they're talking about money you know because i think there's enough emotional weight here that that stuff is sort of like that's a good thing, that's a bad thing, that's really all I need to know. You know? <laughs> and I think in this episode, maybe my favorite moment that happened was like not pivotal to the storyline, but that moment where he, he calls him out for saying dude in yeah. the room. I was like, oh yeah, that, I think I do that. Like that, <laughs> Some, that was like Somewhere a between dude and sir, please. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, no, I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah. There's a lot happening here. So, yeah, we'll be back next week with Ben. And if we miss that on any major Kelly O'Coin or Citizen Kane, uh, you know, factoids, he'll, he'll fill us in. So thanks for watching.